Today, after four cups of coffee, I'll examine colloquial addressings. That is, the ways that people refer to each other when they're not using their proper names. Such colloquialisms are chief, buddy, captain, cuz, boss, tough guy, pal, man, dude, chowderhead, douchebag, gay lord, and one of my new favorites, horse dick. Chief is a word primarily used to address somebody who holds the office of chief in a military group or a police force, even a fire department. But it's also been used to refer to a person, like in that video with the haircuts. Not now, Chief. I'm in the zone. You know the video. Jager bombs, Jager bombs, Jager bombs, Jager bombs. You know. Not now, Chief, I'm in the zone, that guy. The term dude is an American English slang word used informally to address a male individual. The female equivalent, dudette, is used less often. However, the term dude has become unisex to encompass both genders and was even true in 1950s when the word was used in its more traditional sense, like on a dude ranch, thus implying some sort of cowboy lifestyle. Historically, the word dude has been used as a noun, describing a type of man. Dude is also used alone in a sentence, as an interjection, denoting a feeling of surprise. Dude! Happiness? Dude! Or even disappointment? Dude! The term dude was first used in speech in 1873 and first used in print in 1876 in Putnam's Magazine. It became prominent in surfer culture in the 1960s and later found its way into mainstream use in the 1970s. Another such colloquialism is buddy, like, hey buddy, what are you doing? Buddy may refer to a friend or partner in a specific activity. Really isn't too much information on the word buddy. So let's just move right the hell along then. Captain is used by people sometimes like, all right, Captain, what's next? But Captain is a rank, which is funny when people use it for somebody who doesn't hold any rank at all. Here's one that my own father likes to use a lot, cuz. Cuz is short for cousin. Also on the internet, it's short for because, both of which don't have a Z. C-U-Z, cuz is usually used by my father to ask directions at a rest stop or gas station. Hey, cuz, do you know how to get back to the interstate? No, he doesn't. Boss, commonly used to refer to the boss of the E Street Band, Bruce Springsteen, is also used to address people who aren't much of a boss at all. Like, all right there, take it easy, boss. Though the true meaning of boss is an employee's supervisor. Here's one of my favorites. Tough guy. Like, all right there, tough guy. You better settle down, because you don't know who you're messing with. Usually when somebody uses tough guy, it's not to imply that they think the person is a tough guy. It's more of a belittling term, when in fact the person addressing someone as tough guy thinks that they're really the tough guy. Pal could be one that's used... Well, for a pal, or not a pal at all. Like, hey, what's up, pal? How you been? Or the converse, take it easy, pal. This was your fault. Which, in and of itself, is rather silly because it has two different meanings completely opposite of each other. Here's one that a friend of mine in Northern California suggested. Chowderhead. I looked it up and all I could find is that it's a slang term for an idiot or adult. My guess is that chowderhead refers to somebody who is an idiot or adult in, say, New England, where chowder is predominant. Or could simply refer to the consistency of somebody's head and or brain area being of mush, like a chowder. This one has to be among my favorites. Douchebag. Because of its meaning. And its meaning colloquially. Hilarious! When we normally hear the term douchebag, someone is usually using it to refer to another as an asshole or an idiot. Asshole's funny too, we'll get to that one. 
although douche usually refers to vaginal irrigation, whereas a douchebag is a piece of equipment used for douching, a bag used to hold the fluid used in douching, to avoid intestinal bacteria from entering the vagina, the same douche bag cannot be used for an enema. Which brings us to asshole. Asshole is not very much the endearing term. Asshole is used when somebody performs at less than par, like that guy's an asshole, or what, that asshole? Which I find to be hilarious, because an asshole isn't really a person at all, it's a part of a person. A part of a person that expels shit. Poopy! And one from the playground days, Gaylord. Gaylord is an anglicization of the French word Gaillard, which means sprightly or spry. Typically, though, Gaylord is used to refer to somebody in a negative manner, like, look at that Gaylord, when in fact, that is actually wrong. There was also a Chicago street gang that used the word Gaylord in their name. That probably wasn't too menacing. The latest one that I've heard is horse dick. I put in a little research, and all I could find is that a horse dick is merely just the penis found on a horse. Go figure. What does this all mean? Basically, what this all means is that we speak in slang a lot. Not to say that it's bad or good, but we use slang a lot. Maybe we use slang too much or in some cases not too often. Either way, there are plenty of words to use colloquially to address another person without using their actual names. Personally, I like when people refer to me as King William the 98,000th, or John will suffice. Horse dick. Someone just recently used that around me. Douchebag. All right, there, tough guy. You better settle your. Do you be? Got to turn it up now. Horse dick. Horse dick. Horse dick. Horse dick.